Welcome grade 8 students. Our topic for today is lesson 5, factoring general trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1. General trinomial, lahat ng klase ng trinomial. And ito ang ating pattern. Ito ang standard, standard form. Focus natin ngayon ay ang value ng a equals 1. Ito ang objectives natin. You should complete Completely factor general trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is equal to 1. But first, let us get the factors of the following. What are the factors of 20? So here are the factors. So since this is positive 20, you can say 1 times 20 is 20. Also, the two negative numbers. So negative 1 times negative 20 also equal to positive 20. Sa rule ng um, multiplication, same sign, positive. Different sign, negative. So 2 times 10, 4 times 5, negative 2 times negative 10, negative 4 times negative 5. Next, Find the factors of negative 18. So, since negative ito, ibig sabihin yung isang number ay positive, yung isang number ay negative. So, ito ang ating mga factors, yung 1 and negative 18. Then, balik ta rin naman, negative 1 and 18. 2 and negative 9, negative 2 and 9, 3 and negative 6, negative 3 and 6. Ito ang ating standard form base sa ating title, ax squared plus bx plus c. Ang a at ang b, ang c ay ang numerical coefficient and constant. Ibig sabihin mga number sila. While yung ating variable raised to the second power at yung isa ay raised to the first power. So sa first term natin, lagi ang nasa unahan ay yung variable with the highest exponent. Ito ay tawag din nating quadratic trinomial. Let us factor a squared plus 7a plus 12. But first, sila ba ay naka-arrange sa standard form? Ano ulit ang standard form natin? ax squared plus bx plus c. So ngayon, ang first term dapat ay yung variable with the second power, tama. Followed by yung variable with the first power, tama. And followed by constant, yung number lang. Okay? So ito ay naka-arrange na sa standard form. Let us now proceed with factoring. Paano mag-factor ng general trinomial where a equal to 1? Kailangan nyo lang ng dalawang set ng binomial. Factor muna natin ang ating first term. Ang factor ng a squared ay a lamang. So, a times a. a times a kasi ay a squared. Ngayon, list down all the factors of positive 12. What are the factors of positive 12? Okay. Ano-ano factors? Meron tayong 1 and 1 times 12. Ano pa? 2 times 6. Ano pa? 3 times 4. Siyempre, negative din ng, uh, negative factors din ng 12. So, yung negative 1 times negative 12 ay positive 12 din. Negative 2 times negative 6. And negative 3 times negative 4. So, pagkatapos i-list down all the factors of our third term, you will add the two factors. Kung ano man yung magiging sum, Kung ano yung tutulad sa second term ng ating given, yon ang tamang factor. O let us add, 1 and 12 ang sagot ay, let us add the 2. So let's proceed with addition. So 1 plus 12 ay 13. 2 plus 6 ay 8. 3 plus 4, 7. So both of them are negative. So adding them also, negative 13 negative 8 and negative 7. So, ngayon, anong factors dyan, pair of factors, ang nag sa positive 7? So, ang sagot ay 3 and 4. So, positive 3 and positive 4 are the correct factors. Pwede magkabaligtad. Dito mo ilagay si positive 4 at dito naman si positive 3. Okay? So, ngayon, that these are the factors of our first example. Second example. 
first question, is it already a range to standard form? Raised to the second power, raised to the first power at constant. Yes, it is already a range, okay? So now, we will proceed with factoring it. Again, two binomials yan. And get the factor of our first term, m squared is m times m. Ngayon, list down natin ang lahat ng factors ng third term natin. So, positive 20 to. So, both positive and negative pa factors ng 20. But, since ang ating second term, bibigyan ko kayo ng um, technique. Since our second term is negative, ang kunin nyo na lang factors ay yung negative factors ni 20. So, what are the negative factors of positive 20? What are those? So, negative 1 and times negative 20. Negative 2 and negative 10. Negative 4 and negative 5. So, after getting all the factors of the third term, we will now add those. So, let us add kung ano ang magiging um, sum nila, kung ano yung magiging katulad sa second term, yun ang magiging tamang factor. So, let us add. The answer here is negative 21. Sumunod ay negative 12. And then, adding them, the answer is negative 9. So, ito ay negative 9, ito ay negative 9. Ibig sabihin, negative 4 and negative 5 are the correct factors. So, this is our answer on our second example. Ngayon, naka... Ngayon, naka-arrange na to sa standard form. We will proceed again with the factor. So, get the factor of our first term which is R times R get, um, list down all the factors of negative 12. Negative to, so dapat ang factors mo ay isang positive at isang negative. Kapag sa negative, lahat na ng factors, okay? So, negative 12. What are the factors of negative 12? Positive 1 times negative 12. Next, um, negative 1 times positive 12 then. 2 times negative 6, negative 2, times positive 6, uh, sorry, 3, times negative 4, and negative 3, times 4. So, those are the factors of negative 12. We will now proceed with addition. So, since they are different sign, ayan, add muna natin, gawin natin siyang addition. Since, bo, um, the two of them are different sign or unlike sign. We will subtract. 12 minus 1 is 11. Get the sign of the bigger number. Mas malaki 12 kaya negative ang magiging sagot. So, negative 11. 6 minus 2 ang sagot ay negative 4. 4 minus 3 ang sagot ay negative 1. So, ganun din dito. Ang sagot naman dito ngayon ay 11. 4. Tsaka 1. So, ngayon, ano ang ating second term? Ito ay negative 1. Ang negative 1 natin, ang factors ay positive 3 and negative 4. Tandaan, pwede magpalit pero dapat ang sign ay ganun din. So, kung gusto nyo, um, kung ang naging sagot nyo ay negative dito, negative 4, sa kabila yung positive 3. And this is our answer on our given. Next example, is it already arranged to standard form? Not yet. So, anong dapat mauna? Ang y squared, followed by ng 3y, positive 3y, and then last ay yung negative 18. Then, proceed na tayo with factoring it. Two binomials again. Get the factor of our first term, which is y times y. List down all the factors of negative 18. So, what are the factors of negative 18? 1 times negative 18. The other one is negative 1 times positive 18. 2 times negative 9. Negative 2 times 9. 
3 times negative 6 and negative 3 times 6. Let us now proceed with addition. Oh, adding them, different signs of track, 18 minus 1 is 17. Get the sign of the bigger number, negative, ang mas malaking number, kaya negative ang sagot. 9 minus 2 ay negative 7. 6 minus 3 ay negative 3. Then dito, baligtad naman, 18 minus 1 ay positive 17. Positive 7 and positive 3. So, nasaan ang, ang ating middle term, yung positive 3? So, itong ating positive 3, ibig sabihin ng factors ay negative 3 and positive 6. And that is our answer. Now, again, we have S squared plus 6S minus 10. Is it already arranged the standard form? Yes. Let us now proceed with factoring it. So, factor S squared, the answer is S times S. Get all the factors of negative 10. So, we have negative 10 here. What are the factors? We have 1 times negative 10. Negative 1 times 10. 2 times negative 5. Negative 2 times 5. So, let us now proceed with addition. Adding them, the answer is negative 9. Negative 3. 9 and 3. So, now, mayroon ba na positive 6 sa ating sum? Wala. So, ibig sabihin, um, this given is not factorable using um, general trinomial A equal to 1. Ang magiging sagot ulit dito ay prime. Okay? So, our answer is prime. And there you go. So that's it. Thank you for watching.